Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. Now, I have been noticing these videos have been getting a lot of dislikes recently. Well, they've been getting a few, which is a lot more than usual. So I just want to say, if you have a problem with the series, please leave a comment or send me a message, and I'll see what I can do to make it better. If you don't do these things, I'm not psychic, so I'll probably just carry on doing what I'm doing. Anyway, we have two new custom courtiers. We have Lawrence Fields, who is a... Um, he claims to be a grandson of a bastard of the Selmy line, and uh, he was trained by a hedge knight, and after the hedge knight died, he was knighted, and has come here, presumably seeking some sort of um, patronage, some sort of adventure, and that's why he's here. We also have James, who appears to be a very well-traveled wildling, because he has converted to the Faith of the Seven, and has um, made his way to our little uh, court. So it'll be interesting to see what he's up to. Anyway, let's uh, get started. Do we have anything that we need to re really do right now? I don't think so. So what I'm gonna do, I guess I say Septum. Yeah, it's definitely Drowned Man, yeah. Uh, what I think we're gonna do is somebody requested that we do a little bit, another one of those marriage episodes where we check that all of our courtiers are all right, so. Let's have a look at that. Uh, so, I'm going to try and only do the custom ones, but it is starting to get to the point where it's difficult to tell which ones are. Um, so, what do we have? We have Maester, obviously not. Uh, Jackdaw, you are number one. There we go. Right. Let's find you someone to marry. Who are you after? Um, I don't know. Probably you'd be... There's like, content might be something you're after. Because you're also content. There we go. Uh, you're 25. We got 23 here. Content. Both just. Patient. Chase might be a problem because of fertility negative, but that should be all right. And cruel. Um, that's definitely an option. Or we have uh, Gretchel, who is also content. Uh, honorable. Honest. Patient. Um, I think that Rhonda probably fits best here. Yeah. We'll go for Rhonda. Yes, yes, all of that's fine. Cool. Next one. Um, Bran... Yep. Baran Killick. Let's uh, marry him off. Now, he only has one personality trait, apart from Jula. But Julis is kind of a lifestyle trait. And maybe... I don't think we have a Julist. Is that how you spell Julist? Uh, that is in... Not how you spell Julist. Still, there are none. Okay. Uh, what about Brave? Let's just narrow it down to someone who's very similar to them. Uh, 35. So he's pretty old. How about uh, Rhonda again? A different Rhonda this time. So one's ambitious, brave, diligent, deceitful. Maybe. Uh, that wouldn't be too bad. Or we've got brave, temperate, humble, kind. Maybe. Um, we've also got... Brave, humble, paranoid, just? Hmm, I don't know. I, I think that Rhonda here is fine. She seems fine. Yeah, we'll go with uh, Rhonda again. Cool. Right, next one we're looking at. Uh, wish I would keep it like sorted the way you had it sorted. Anyway. Uh, Dennis Benson is courtier's son, so we're not going to worry about it just now. Dineld Fire already has a spouse. Um, Harlan Kenning, no idea. Uh, Holland Lover, there we go. Yep, that is next one, no spouse. Cool. Let's arrange a marriage. We're going to be looking for somebody... I, I'm not entirely sure who we're looking for here. Um, yep. Not entirely sure. There's a lot of different things going on, which, you know, having one or two actually makes it easy. Having, like, Seven makes it more difficult to work out where you want to, like, who you want to marry off to. Um, well, let's just kind of look around the age group. Well, probably 32 will be the limit, because anything above that, you're not going to get, there's going to be zero chance for having children of that house, so. In which case, why are you marrying them? Right, uh, or children at all is what I'm kind of going for. Uh, we got Roth, Honourable. Nah, he's not honourable. 
we have deceitful, gregarious, charitable. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Deceitful, craven, wrath, shy. Yeah, I'm, uh, okay. We'll go for you. Uh, Falia. Cool. Right, next one. We're looking for is... So that was H was, in, was our previous one. It was Hullen, then it would be James, who has just arrived. Wildling, lustful, just trusting. I don't know, if he's trusting, he might either be honest or deceitful. Would seem like ones that would work there. How about honest? There we go. Content, uh, honest, um, honorable, and patient. Yeah, that seems fine. Um, no. Okay. Oh, because he's a noble. Okay. That's fine. If not honest, then let's say that he got tricked by someone and uh, deceitful. There we go. And we're... D you want to look... Oh. This did not sort by age very well. This is not... This is not a good sorting by age. How about 17? Roughly the same... Can it... Oh, wait. We just married her off. Okay. Um... What about uh, Marilia here? She seems fine. Yeah. Is she not fine? Oh, he's considering another offer. Okay, we'll wait a couple days. That's all right. There we go. Accepted the uh, suggestion that Baron and Rhonda get married. Valley and Holland get married. Uh, anything else happen here? No, no. Nothing really... Too big. Nope, nothing too big. I thought I missed something important in there. Okay, so that's them. Next uh, lot. We have a lot of people in our court. Yeah. We are looking for James, and we're going to marry him to... It was... Um, this one? Yes, it was this one. Yes. Cool. Next one is... Uh, Jimmy is not one. Jonah Storm. Yes, he is one. Right. What have we got here? He's honorable. So we'll search for honorable. There we go. Uh, he's around 20. We'll search for around that age. There we go. We've got... Content, honest, honorable, patient, Gretchel. You're both uh, noble-ish. So that should be fine. Yeah. Cool. Next one is after Jonah. We have uh, Justin Benson, who is already married. We have Lannis, who is already married and is outside our uh, like our control to marry off anyway. Larence. Okay, you're next. We're looking for Larence. Um, proud. I don't know what we're looking for here. I don't know. We'll go. We'll have a look. How about uh, Yasilla Ironfoot? Uh, she's a bit ugly. Um, maybe that wouldn't fit with his proud. I don't know. I was thinking because she was noble. I don't know. Is this like a selfish pride or... Uh, ambitious and more carded. So it's not really... I'm trying to think whether proud would be more like... Would be a vain kind of pride. I don't know. Maybe we'll marry um, Lawrence off to her. She's brawny, authoritative, and patient. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Fine. Next one we have is... Gonna be... Lavica is someone of someone. We have Lindsay Stonecrow, who's already married. We have Lyos, who is already married. Manfred is not one. We Mayford is one and is not married, but was just married. And I believe she died last episode, so... Yeah, we'll uh, we'll leave it a little bit for Mayford. Yes. Okay. What have we got next? Morgan Bloodfang is not married. We will find him someone to marry. So, what we're we looking for here? Um, I don't know. If he's patient, then maybe there's a trait that's um, like I was trying to think like difficult, but I can't think what the trait would be right now. And maybe this one. 
uh, Morna right here. She's slothful, so maybe his patient fits in there. He has no real problems with her being deceitful, and no real problems with her being kind. Yeah. There we go. What else do we have? We have... Pete is one and is married. Rhonda isn't one. Ron this one isn't one either. Ronard is one and is married. Uh, Septimus isn't one. Well, he's the son of one. Cyril, Silas, Sylvia. Nope, none of these. None of these. None of these. This, this one. He needs to be married. Right. What we're we looking at here. No personality traits, in which case we'll just marry him off to somebody who wouldn't make sense for anyone else. Or, like, it's difficult to find a match for, if we've got any. Um... I don't know. Do we see anyone like that? Not really. Or not any that are jumping out at me. Maybe, um, given that he's pretty strong and tall, maybe we're looking for somebody who's trying to use him. Maybe this ambitious person down here could fit. She's a bit slothful. She's a bit proud, but he he is a bastard of a house. Uh, so that'd be fine. I think-ish. And uh, she's ambitious, so maybe she's trying to use his strength to uh, raise her station. There we go. Uh, what was her name? This one? Currently considering another offer. Okay. We'll wait a little bit. Uh, Storm King Kristen the Meek revoked the Lordship of Adderdale from Robert Wagstaff. What a last name. <coughs> Mariel has arrived at your court and somebody died. Hema died. Who is Hema? She was married to Lord Lannis. Well, that's uh, convenient. We're just looking at him. Uh, my leads may live in harmony and content. I accept your suggestion that Lawrence and Yasilla get married. Now, is that your only child? No, but it is your first child. Okay, cool. Uh, she would be second in line? No, it's only Agnatic? Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, that's Morgan and... Uh, was that Marna? Anyway. Morna, yes. And now we will go back to... Uh, it was... Vladolf. We'll marry him to... This ambitious person down here. There we go. Next one on the list is... I suppose we could do it from this side. Vori, no. Wait, Kenny, no. Will Winch, no. Yusilla Ironfoot, no. And Zia Stonecrows, no. Cool. I think we've gone through all of them. If I missed any, then, uh, you know, give me a shout. But I think that's all of them. And we can get, well, you know, half, an, half of a, an episode moving time forward. Which would be cool. Our court is really large. And I have a theory that the larger your court is, the more likely you are to have lots and lots of deaths in it. Now, I don't know whether this is just because of the number of events going off, or because of the, um... Or whether the game actually has anything in there to stop that, but... You know, I'm interested to see what happens. Lots of favours are being, you know, given to people. There's Lord Masters doing things. Cool. Uh, our son is, of course, still unlanded. We have nothing we can do about that. What is this weak claim? It's for, um... Lordship of Riverspring. Okay. Where is Riverspring? Um, oh, it's down here. And it would be for Leonette of Lordsport. Oh! So Lord Lannis chose a wife of him for himself. And has married uh, Lady Leonette of Lordsport. And we could press the claim on Riverspring over here for, for that. Um, wait, she already... Oh, that's Tyressa. Riverspring. I was thinking, that's the same portrait, and it is, but it's just the default one. So, does she have any allies? Well, she is underneath this guy of the Gold Road, who would be the one we'd have to attack. He has zero allies, but has 4,000 men. Uh, we only have about 1,300. Yeah, that ain't happening. That is not happening. Anytime soon. Uh, institution of Levy Shifted Noble Obligations Law just happened. Yeah, we should really, really try and get some more men, because looking at the amount of men we're getting from vassals, that is not good. That he has more men than us. Uh, at least not at this point, given that we only have one, you know, power, really powerful vassal. Uh, you would like us to kill Lord Lyman of Nettlebank. I don't know who that is, so I'm going to say no. 
And that's fair enough. Fair enough. Right. Princess Serena of Westeros was imprisoned. Interesting. She seems to be fine, apart from being blinded. Hmm. Okay. Is he still in, in line? Uh, no. Not at all, because it's um, purely agnatic. Okay. Yeah, Westeros needs a son. Well, at least um, Vakar does. He has four daughters, no sons. It's not going well for him. Uh, Ormond Mad usurped the Lordship of Smallwood from a Willem. Yep. Cool. Cool. And how are we doing now? Everything seems to just be uh, absolutely fine. Do we have our person on um, on reinforcing our levies? We do. So that should happen soon. As your efforts to gain, as your efforts of gaining wealth grow all the more determined, you sleep less and less. And since sleeping is not a profitable behavior, I must have more gold. Are we not already stressed? Now nah, we must have had this event before, and then the game crashed. Okay. Baker lost uh, a war for Maidenpool. What's the war he's in now? He's in a war for Lord Reaver Euron claim on Westeros, which he's losing, and in a claim for King's Landing, which he is again losing. Yeah. That's not good. A daughter was born to Lenzi, son of Dolce, and Asha the Unfaithful, named Helia. Was this actually? Nope, this is another um, child of Asha and Lannis. There were a lot of them. An awful lot of them. Wow. <coughs> oh. Uh, oh, but she was still born. Okay. Torig of King's House Peasant Revolt has led Peasant Revolt for King's House on King Wyman of the North. But this is much more interesting. News from any underscore all, my lady. A new dragon has entered the world. Nysos Vizar has apparently successfully hatched one and has named his he dragon Predatorian? Predatorian? Okay. Who is Nysos Vizar? He is in uh, Volantis, which is all underneath. Yes, it's all underneath Volantis. Oh, interesting. He's called the Liberator and is a slave owner. Interesting title. Oh, good for uh, that person who got a dragon. To be honest, I'm a little bit worried about the number of dragons that are over in Volantis. Um, Peasant's Revolt just um, happened, yep. People being released from dungeons. Storm King Kristen Namika has played the second Stormlander Westerosi to jerk war over Blackwater Bay. Oh, so he wants that bit of land right there. Which would be King's Landing, but isn't because um, that event never happened. Alright. Peasants Revolt ended. Raven arrived from the Citadel. We should prepare it as winter is coming. I think that's King's Landing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's where the capital is usually on this map, if nothing else. We have a lot of money. We're doing a really good job at being greedy. Oh. Somebody just died. That's another Targaryen was, and another daughter. Wow. Uh, did she just die? Oh, she died in the dungeons of uh, Lord Morgan of Blackwater Bay. Was that just then, or? Oh, wait. Oh, it's actually his concubine. I didn't realize he had a concubine. Not his concubine? This is interesting. So, whose concubine are you? No, you are to... Okay. There's just no space for concubine. I guess they're allowed concubines and secondary wives? Or is it in relationships? Well, no, she's in lovers, but she's... Hmm, interesting. That's a bit interesting. Anyway, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Not worth uh, getting into. Right. Uh, a son was born to Tiberius and Frenya Serpentail named Titus. Uh, I forgot that you were married to our daughter. But yes, yeah, sure, Titus is a fine name. It's one of your uh, brother's names. Invite to plot has been received from Christopher Serpentale, so our son is asking us to kill Maester Aemon with him. Okay. Because you are zealous and he is a different religion. I see. Um, well, I suppose we, we'll, we'll, we'll just throw our support in. We won't do anything, but we'll throw our support in. I mean, we've thrown our support into killing, uh, like, Lance... Uh, Lancelin of the Rock, and we have equally as little reason to kill him. Oh, who just died? 
Uh, Leona Woods, who is married to uh, Lord Malder Hull. No idea. No idea where we got a pop up about that, but okay. We have right. We can righteously imprison Septimus. What are you doing, doing Septimus? You're trying to kill Jean. Okay. Well, I believe our uh, our policy on trying to kill people and all this stuff is just instant imprisonment. So we have imprisoned Septimus. We will now call for a trial. Right. Let's see how it does. My young courtier has finished his education in military strategy and command. He seems to have learned all the basic skills required. Will Pike. Alright, yeah. Him. Septimus has demanded a trial before the court, which Justin so shall oversee to ensure justice is served. He begins to present his defense, and some decent arguments were made. Many in the court seem to sympathize with him. Justin shall interrogate him now. Justin stood before the court and aggressively questioned the accused. Many at court were convinced by his arguments, but then again, many were unimpressed. A verdict has been reached. Justin proclaims Septimus is innocent. Hmm. Well. Yeah. We could release him. That's definitely an option. Um. We are arbitrary. We could do whatever we want. We could kill him. We could imprison him. Um. I think we're just going to release him. And I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.